This cleaning procedure should be followed when full oil contamination is suspected on any of these yellow jacket vacuum gauges. The 6902 series Omni or 6703 series used with the P51 digital manifold and mantooth gauges or the 69086 digital vacuum gauge. A vacuum gauge stuck above 25,000 or 100,000 microns, depending on the model you're using, could be an indication of contamination. If the vacuum gauge readings are only slightly high and minor oil contamination is suspected, a simpler and faster procedure, such as dripping solvent directly into the quick coupling fitting, could be utilized. The vacuum gauge cleaning kit includes a syringe, clear tube, quarter inch NPT fitting, and a white adapter. You'll also need a three quarter inch wrench, a 9 16 inch wrench, and solvent. We recommend low odor mineral spirits, but any fast evaporating, no residue tool cleaner will work. Finally, you'll need Teflon tape. Place a three quarter inch wrench over the brass body of the vacuum gauge. Then, using a 9 16 inch wrench, unscrew the quick coupler fitting from the gauge. Examine the inside of the brass body. If any oil is seen as shown, the sensor will need to be cleaned. The sensor shown is present in the Omni and Mantooth vacuum gauges. The digital vacuum gauge sensor will look different. With the syringe plunger fully depressed, screw on the clear tube to the opening on the end of the syringe. Place the end of the tube down into the can of solvent. Pull back on the plunger handle to extract about two milliliters of solvent solution. Remove the tube from the can of solvent and invert the syringe. Pull back the plunger handle until the plunger is around the five milliliter mark. This adds about three milliliters of air to the syringe which will help to agitate the solvent inside the sensor and remove more oil. Unscrew the clear tube from the end of the syringe. Connect the clear adapter to the white quarter inch NPT fitting. Then attach this fitting to the end of the syringe as shown. Insert the syringe with the white fitting into the brass body of the vacuum gauge. Hold the syringe above the gauge and slowly press the plunger handle, pushing the solvent into the brass body. Press the plunger handle until resistance is felt. Note, move the plunger handle slowly. Rapid actuation could create a jet of fluid that could damage the sensor. Invert the syringe and slowly pull the plunger handle, extracting the solvent from inside the brass body. Repeat this process of pushing and pulling the plunger handle to approximately two milliliters to get the solvent in and out of the brass body for one to two minutes. The fluid may develop a yellow tint, which indicates that oil is being removed from the brass body and sensor. With the syringe below the vacuum gauge, Loosen and detach the syringe from the brass body. Examine the inside of the brass body. The sensor should now be free of oil. Note, there may be some residual solvent inside the brass body. Do not use compressed air to blow out this fluid. It could damage the sensor. Do not use an aerosol as this may also damage the sensor. Retape the threads on the quick coupler fitting and attach the fitting to the brass body of the vacuum gauge. The Teflon tape should be wound in the same direction you'll be threading the fitting into the body. Start with the first thread, but the Teflon tape should never extend beyond or overhang the first thread. Do not use liquid or paste sealants as they may damage the sensor.
Place the gauge on the vacuum pump to evacuate the residual solvent. Leave the gauge on the running pump until it's reading accurately. If the readings are not within the desired accuracy after 90 minutes, repeat this cleaning process until the desired accuracy is obtained. For more information on Yellow Jacket vacuum gauge cleaning, visit yellowjacket.com.